different games as the dashboard will update with each game to have the necessary settings. New games can also be added by the map band team very quickly if needed. View groups group different overlays, which are also called views. Each view can have different purposes, styles, and settings. Depending on the chosen style, you can also quickly change colors and adjust other settings to your liking. Some styles automatically adapt to different games. Our default style automatically supports Rainbow Six Siege, Valorant, Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and many others. You can also request a custom style be made or provide a design to be coded into the map band system. We also offer a selection of different view types. Main, also called in-game, is the heart of every stream. This overlay goes over the game and allows you to show team logos, origins, names, and more. Most styles have different live options. This way you can show more information during the match, such as which maps have already been played and which team won, also showing the results for each map. Results of polls that you can create and adjust in our dashboard. Depending on the game, you can also show the round history of the current map. And finally, you can also show or hide the in-game overlay with an animation. The start screen is a simple view, which can be used to tell the viewers what teams will play in an upcoming match. Break screen can be used during an intermission to show the current game's results and, if desired, the results of each map played. Map Veto lets you show the viewers the process of banning and picking maps live. The veto could either be done by the teams or you can simulate the map veto after the fact. The poll overlay allows you to show poll results in a dedicated overlay outside of the in-game overlay. The round history lets you recap the played rounds of a match, and more view types are planned and will always be added to the system. This new map band system is also built to be easily expandable and will cater to the needs of virtually any esports production. All shown features are free to use at www.mapband.gg. Be sure to follow on Twitter at mapbandgg for any news and updates. Geyser and Critical Force have officially joined forces to bring Critical Ops tournaments to the Geyser platform where verified tournament organizers can officially host, broadcast, and promote their daily events. The program is split into three tiers where organizers receive exclusive perks including staff credits, event features, promotion, Discord channel access with the Crit Ops devs, and tournament prize pools. So if you're a member of the Critical Ops community and want to either host or play with us today, then don't miss out. Download Geyser now to compete in tournaments 24-7 and visit Critical Ops website to learn more about how you can join the community tournament program. Game on and play a part together. Hello everyone and welcome to the CSL Mobile Tournament. Hope you guys have been having a good day so far. Now as you guys know, it's all time to see who's going to win between the two big teams here. Falcon Heart and Exist for Frag. Now both of them are going to be doing a knife B mid. As we go over the map bans, taking a look at Falcon Heart, we have Raid, Canals and Bureau being banned. And on Exist for Frag, we have Port, Legacy and Plaza all being eliminated here. Now, taking a look at the map that we end up with is Grounded, which is a very interesting map. Uh, one of the most second beloved maps uh, by looking at all the statistics so far. Uh, Bureau and Grounded are the only ones that have been chosen, at least uh, by my knowledge. Uh, as far as my knowledge goes over the matches that have been played so far. Uh, it looks like it's, it's, it's very interesting to see how all these players really focus on Bureau and uh, Grounded as well, a couple of them at least. And uh, most of the time they ban Bureau at, almost at the end here. Now anyways, it looks like it's finally time to start off with the match. Taking a look, Falcon Heart versus Exist for Frag. It's gonna be one hell of an interesting match, that's for sure. Hope you guys are all... All sitting tight and uh, something happened with the joining I don't know something happened right there but looks like it's been fixed instantly 
Uh, almost, almost instantly. But it looks like these are the players. We have Dolor, Aramak, King Genzai, Lutz, Rayes, and the other players just left. Clay, Priz, uh, Bibi Hamelech, uh, Angel's Death, and... Um, oh, that was Priz. Okay, wait. Um, I think I made a mistake. Oh, I just repeated someone's name. Yeah, I repeated someone's name. EA2OP. All right. Well, I, go, I haven't really um, casted a match with any of these players before, or... Just maybe a clan, but not with these specific players. So it's going to be difficult for me the first two rounds. But yeah, anyways, good luck. Have fun. Made the best team win here in this situation. Falcon Heart versus Exist for Frag. Good luck. Have fun to both sides. Let's see who's going to win this one out. And the pistol round already strong push towards the A site. One player's been spotted towards the truck. And one player's already very close towards the A site. And it looks like they're all hiding behind those boxes. Yes, they are. And they're going to surprise them instantly. Clay already taking out Dolor here. It looks like some shots coming out. Angel's death taking out Aramak. And uh, it looks like Falcon Heart is already in the lead here. Taking on two players. Although some of them are on low. Some of Exist for Frag are also very low in HP. This round might actually go towards Falcon Heart, but planting the bomb is the key right now. If they get that bomb planted, it will already be a lot more helpful than they have already made their round. Lutz getting a very clean headshot here on EA2OP. Can he get that bomb planted, though? Getting shot here as well. Kane Genza, you know what? This momentum could actually change the whole game. And one player is to spotted towards play. And that's not going to help out lots at all. But already taking on two players is very impressive. Raya's taking on BB Hamelech. And it looks like as this for Frag is changing the momentum of the game here. And Falcon Heart is starting to lose some players here. This is very interesting. Also, King Genza coming in the backstab. But Clay finding him. And it looks like Falcon Heart might actually turn the tables here. As exists for Frag turn the tables. Taking those shots, coming back and forth. Angel's death. Trying to get that one play towards the truck. I don't know that there's one player still waiting on Belongo. Lots taking out both players. Clay and Angel's death all get taken out. And I think that's going to be it. First round going towards Exist for Frag. Definitely a very, very weird way to start off this uh, this match, guys. <laughs> Definitely. It's interesting to see how both teams uh, were very dominant, but like at moments of time. Not like instantly, but they kind of switch between. And here, Angel's Death absolutely getting obliterated here by the full team of Existful Frag. Dola going up front with a bomb, very risky. But looks like he already found the player towards the tower. No, towards his right. He's just going to take him out. At least Reyes is going to take on Clay. Go look at him. And it looks like it's just going to be easy for Exist for Frag to take down these last players. Even getting the bomb planted, they could go for it. But the rest of his team is very aggressive. He's getting that player, and they're not going to get that bomb plant money. But still, taking down that last player. Getting those easy two first two rounds. So far, looking at the scoreboard, looks like both teams are still giving everything they got. Some of them not having a single kill yet, but... Statistic-wise, they are trying to win this these rounds here. And so far, Exist for Frag is being dominant. They are being dominant. And now, moving up towards that A side. A lot of things being thrown towards both sides. Ray is throwing that flashbang towards Connector. Very interesting throw right there. Very accurate as well. Very impressed by that one flash could really help out the team making their move towards that A site a little bit more in the secure way and exist for Frack just extremely dominant here as Falcon Heart is just losing a lot of players and BB Hamili still is done to make his move with that M4 trying to find at least one player here oh, he's gonna try and go for it but at least he gets refragged by EA 2 OP but he gets taken out by Lutz and it's gonna be 0-3 Definitely not a great start for Falcon Heart. Already losing one of the first three rounds. Of course, that eco definitely not helping out at all. And that third round, just cleaning it off on the edge. Taking a look at the scoreboard so far, it looks like both teams still are in the game here. We even see one flawless player here. Lutz getting a lot into this match. Was death coming up here as well? Very close. It looks like Clay already taking on Dolor, but coming in and taking on Clay. A lot of damage has been done already, but Clay takes down one of the players with them with that GSR. Very interesting. Lots. Next move back, Amic taking on EA2 OP. Looks like some shots are being thrown towards the connector. Also, some people are starting to make the move towards the truck here. 
Angel getting shot as well. BB Hamelich and Angel's death. Taking them both players. Angel's death getting taken out here as well. Just so much damage towards both sides. Eventually ending up in a two versus two situation. King Genzai. Starting to make his move towards the truck. Taking on BB Hamelich. And it's just going to be Pris remaining hit towards Connector. And he's going to find K King Genzai. Kind of suddenly moving towards the right, being very confused about where the shots come from. An Airmac, 1 HP remaining. That's a nasty way to lose that round right there for Falconheart. 1 HP, that's a close call. Could have been an easy win as well. Anyways, going for a replug just so the audio gets fixed again. Nothing too shabby or too wrong here. Don't worry, everyone. Take a look at the other look at the scoreboard. Looks like some shots are being made or they're not. No, no, no shots. Just some nades here and there. Falconheart still holding on strong, but they're on that CT side. Ooh, Briss coming in, taking out King Genzai with that age. AG. Reyes got trying to get a no-scope here through the smoke. Briss taking out Tolo as well. Falconheart already getting the first two players here on Exist for Frax side. Lutz. Sitting back, still waiting patiently. Trying to go for a peek towards Bilan, but the smoke is still there. Trying to go for a peek to near me. B mid could be possible as well. One player could be very nasty here. I just could surprise him from the right side here on B mid. Maybe he went past the smoke and went in the corner. You never know. You don't check those things. Going for a pre fire. And finding that player, Praise gets taken away lots here as he crouches down. 27 HP remaining. Falcon Hot. Losing that one player towards B long. Not a great way to stall off this round. Although they have taken out two players from that T side. And one of them has to SS disconnect. Which is not great. Lutz already taken out Angel's death. And it looks like Exist for Frag might actually change the momentum of the game again. Falconheart, they're losing this out here on that CT side. It's not looking good for them. Reyes even taking on Clay here. They're gonna get that bomb planted. They're just getting picked out one by one, but here comes EA2OP. By surprise, Reyes, one HP remaining. And it might just be a defuse, but BB Hamech comes in and takes down Reyes. And EA2OP get that defuse. And finally, the first round, the first win, fifth round, which is gonna be the first win for Falconheart. Finally, after a long awaited time. Definitely, finally. It's taken a long while. And it looks like we're finally give, give, they're finally getting a break here, economically wise. Especially with the money here and there. Starting to make a move here again. We need to be throwing those nades together with another teammate. Trying to get a double nade, but not succeeding. Still. Those nades are being thrown. It could have done a bit of damage towards players from Story. But Clay coming in here. Absolute destruction. Taking out Dolor and Lutz. King Genzai Reyes finishing it off. But taking out Clay and Prison on the other side. And now it's going to be 3 versus 3 again. All those small mess ups could really change the momentum of the game here. You could get a 3k and then two of your teammates die. Then what's the whole point? You might say. Well, at least. At least got that 3k, otherwise it would have been worse, right? BB Hamelech. Going for a peek near B mid. He's the only guy here controlling, or at least taking a hold over that B side. Angel's dead. Slowly coming, coming in here with that HK. Stopping, going, moving towards A. That's not a smart decision. BB Hamelech is now alone. And Falkenhardt is going to have an issue here. Reyes taking on BB Hamelech. And now the full B side is exposed. The only place they could shoot from is the tower. This is extremely difficult for the CTs. And EA2OP still managed to take down Reyes. And taking on Amrak as well. King Genzai taking on Angel's death. Could he go for the second frag? He's getting shot heavily. 2 HP remaining. Looks like he's very low. And King Genzai's 100 HP. EA2OP is going to do something very different this time. And King Genzai, he's just going to go for the plant. Ooh, oh, this could be a Q. Ooh, it's not going to work out. Genzai has 100 HP. This is going to be so extremely difficult as he makes his move towards Bilong and in the corner. Nah, this is going to be insane for EA2 to beat to clutch out. 2 HP remaining as well. If he moved faster, he could have actually denied the plant here. Patiently waiting. 
for that one moment. Taking the shot and taking him out. Exist for frag. Take the advantage here and win the round. Not looking good so far. Falcon Heart messing up that one round here. Messing up a lot, actually. They need to make a comeback out of this, otherwise they have a lot of issues to deal with later on. Falcon Hot looks like some players are moving towards B-Long. Trying to find a potential player pushing, but... Looks like they're all moving towards B-Mid. BB Hamalek already getting taken out. Praise taking out Dolor, and Rek taking out Praise. It looks like 3 versus 4 situation. With 1 to 5. Might even turn to 1 to 6 if he exists for Frag. is going to be successful with this push. Aramak throwing a smoke and a nade. A lot of things being thrown towards the side here as well. Aramak still holding on to that bomb, looking those shots towards the plate and the side towards B mid and A mid. And there might be player damage right now. No Angel's death is safe and sound, waiting patiently here near the Eastern Regional Airport. And yes, I called this specific call out for this one because I thought it was funny. Reyes starting to make his move towards the end of B mid. Very close towards the CT spawn. And Lutz already taken out Angel's death. It isn't looking good for Falcon Heart. Two players still remaining on their side. And Clay coming in here trying to do at least some damage. Taking on Lutz, which is something. Here comes the a 2 b taking a Reyes as well. The bomb has been planted. And Clay. Oh, the a 2 b doing so much damage here as well. They might actually turn the tables. But Aramak is still remaining. And the a 2 b might actually get taken out as he's been found. 12 HP remaining. He's not been known for those clutches. Definitely low HP. Not going to help them out as all, at all. Aramak going to move back to the left or to the right. To the left. He's going to try and find that one player. He succeeds. But he misses the shot and he gets taken out by Pizza 50. a 2 a Messing it up horribly right there. We're losing against a Pizza 50. That's that's not something you want. This is not efficient. Falcon Heart is messing up a bit here. Looks like there's some discussion over going on here towards Exist for Frag. Shaking their heads as I transition over. That's kind of weird to be honest. That's like really weird. Nice, the players are starting to make the move again. A lot of them moving towards that A side, but it looks like they're deciding to turn their tables. Yes, they are lots still lurking here a bit. But slowly it's starting to make his move towards A mid instead. Clay. Very cautious. Behind that bush. Playing the Fortnite style. But as he tries to play the Fortnite style, Dole and King Genzai take down both players from from Falcon Heart towards B long and B mid. And it looks like the whole B side is exposed. The only way they could actually make something out of it is from the side. Dola is just instant hatch on Clayer. What in the name of hell was was that? Reyes taking on Angels that and before they even plant the bomb, Reyes taking on EA2 OP. And that was a fast match. Exists for Frag. Definitely in the lead here. 100 percent for sure. They have taken their dominant side here on that T side, ungrounded, and let's just be honest here, the maps that they have banned, it shows, it really shows. It, if you take a look at the map bans, you can clearly see that this was all just planned. It was all meant to hen end up ungrounded. At the end of the day, Bureau is going to get banned, and... When you ban Bureau, you're gonna end up with Grounded, and it looks like so far exists for Frag. He's very strong here, even on that T side, which is impressive. Really shows their strength here on that map. Angel's Death, though. Not gonna give this one up. Slowly moving with the 8. eight. <sighs> Sorry, guys. With the SA. Backstabbing with Lutz. Very fast right there with the Sniper. Taking him out. And it's just very easy right now for Exist to Frag. They take down every single player. Two players still remaining. They have the bomb. They could just easily go towards the A side. Even B side is clear right now as BB Hamalik goes down. But they're still going to move towards the A side. Find that last player. And he's just going to get quick scope by Lutz. 1 to 8. And Falcon Heart is really losing right now. Is there any way they could make a small comeback and maybe make a big comeback on the T side? I don't know. Definitely inconvenient. A very inconvenient situation it is. And now Lutz starting to make his move here towards storage. 
Bomb is still being held behind by Bibi Hamalek. Finally getting a kill here. King Genza taking the two players as Bibi Hamalek goes down. Clay gets taken out as well. A lot slower something to make his move with that S sniper. Checking A mid. No one found yet. King Genza throwing out Flash, Smoke, and Nade. Just throwing all the nades on the site. How, what, what would you do, Aslan, in this situation? And now three players remaining on that CT side. EA 2 OP starting to make his move here. Trying to find some players, lots. Surprise again, very nasty angles. You know when they use those nasty angles, it's just going to be extremely difficult to counter this. Like, very difficult. Reyes coming in, taking out Priz, and they're just going to be chopped off one by one. There's no, there's no, like, backup. They don't have each other backed up here. And Falcon Heart kind of getting smashed here. I don't like to say that. I always like to believe that both teams can get there no matter what situation. But right now, it really looks down for them. Maybe on the team switch, they can make a comeback. There might be a, there might be a chance. You never know. Gonna Just going to go for a quick replug. Because of the audio. It happens sometimes. And sometimes it just doesn't. I don't know. Windows updates kind of screw up the thing. Anyways, Ray has an Amak taking on two players. Bimi Hamlek taking on one player before he dies here. King Genzai goes down. Bomb is going to be dropped out of safety and exists for Frag Lutz. Going lurking again with the sniper. Trying to get that quick scope. It looked like he was getting a hit, but he wasn't. A hit maybe because of internet connection or something else going on. Clay, either way, gets taken out. He tries to go for the second one with EA2P. He takes him out of Priz, taking on Amak in the process. Bomb is trying to be carried here. Dolor taking on Priz. EA2P is the last player. Mini is going to take down Dolor. And Reyes is going to take down EA2P by surprise as he checks his other side. A1 to 10. And exists for Frag. Has taken so much dominance here. How is there going to be a potential comeback out of this? How are they going to get a potential comeback out of this? You guys know. Do you guys know anything about the situation? I don't. I actually don't. It's just that the momentum has already changed drastically. The economical side of Falcon Heart has already been disrupted. And zero money. Do they even have pistols? They have an M4. Or at least they have assault rifles here to work with. And Reyes already seeing those players on the side. It's just easy. Moving here smoothly through the map. Taking on BB Hamalek as he's the last player. And it's just too exposed. They're too much pushed in, and they can't rotate fast. Because as they're moving towards the B side, some players are starting to throw some nades here, but they're they're just not getting spotted. They're not being seen anywhere. Falcon Heart. They're gonna do this another way. Clay already taken on air might maybe create an opening here with Clay and EO2 OP already getting taken out. Exists for Frag taking full control of the side, and Angel's Death getting taken out in the last end. It's just a eh. It's just a massive eh. Falcon Hard going over to the T side. And right now, if they don't win that pistol round, I don't know what to believe anymore. I just don't know, guys. I just don't know. It's a bow one, and we all know what happens in a bow one. You take one win, you're out. You take one loss, you're out. You go your own way. That's exactly what's happening right here in the pistol round. Stacking up on that A side. Exists for Frank knows exactly what they're doing. And this is going to be a pure aim and tactical based battle. As EA2OP takes down Lola. Ray is taking out Prez. Ray is taking out Angel Death. And here comes Reyes again taking out EA2OP. Going for that second frag. Trying to take him out. Ramrak takes him out already here. And it looks like exists for Frag. Taking out all these players. It is just an absolute destruction in this eco round. It's going to be extremely difficult to come back from. On that, even on that CT, on that T side. Taking a one last look. Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe Falcon Heart can pull something off here. You never know. You never know when something changes drastically out of nowhere. Falcon Heart. Still doing everything they can. And Reyes already giving up place here. They have lost all, so many players here. Or they're retaking it. EA2 OP and Angels, that thing, on both players. There still might be some alive. Couldn't they? Are they going to go for rotation? Are they not? And Max still with a P9 here, trying to take him out. Takes down Clay. Goes for second one. 7 HP Randy Lots coming in. Backstab. Taking out Angels Death. And the last player is going to be EA2 OP. And he goes down as well. And that's going to be the end. Why is exists for Frag leaving? I have no idea. They had to stay for the SSs. He even said it himself. But it looks like this is the way it's going to end. GG well played to both sides.
And this frag is going to take the win here. Hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. Hope you guys been having a good day so far. And I guess we're going to end it up and round it up here. And uh, yeah. I guess that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. And I'll be seeing you guys on another live stream or video. Bye-bye.